I'd like to mention again a particular belief of mind that I have concerning the way the mind works. I believe that on the subconscious level, when a thought, when a belief registers with the subconscious, I believe that it registers as feeling. We verbalize words. We speak them verbally. We say, I am rich. That's what? Verbal. We visualize, imagine, and see ourselves as being what? Rich. That's visional. But now at the deepest of the deepest of levels comes the feeling nature, the emotional level. And the subconscious receives impressions ultimately as what? Feeling. That's why I use the title for one of my series. <laughs> feeling gets the blessing. This is very important. So I want you to remember what the ultimate purpose of your praying, your affirming, your visualizing and your verbalizing is. Induce a certain feeling. And you have not successfully affirmed or visualized or verbalized until what you are verbalizing, visualizing, and affirming or praying gets down to the level of the deepest feeling nature. Isaac the blind father as the subconscious was styled in this case. You know, the Bible never says but one thing, but it says that one thing in so many different ways. You see, the theologians just don't understand that. They're still on this Esau and Jacob thing where it was a dirty deal between brothers. That is not what it's trying to show us. It's the subconscious at this particular point being styled as a blind father and he depended upon healing to identify his sons come close my son that I may feel you this tells us a number of things one is that whenever we pray we must call the good that we are praying for the good that we desire we must call it close to us that we may feel it in other words the father is blind as to who it is the father does not care if you feel right. The father does not care whether it's the right boy or the wrong boy. If he feels right. You see, there are laws in the universe that are above the laws of matter and above the laws of what is even called human justice. In this case, the law may be said to be just as you feel. The theologians and the sociologists will tell us that it was a dirty thing for Jacob to take Esau's blessing. That's not what the mystic writer is dealing with at all. He is dealing with feelings. And he's making this ridiculous analogy to simply show you how the law of feeling supersedes every other law. The law of feeling is above every other law. At the very bottom line, it's come close, my son, that I may feel you. It tells us also that whenever we come to the Father, the source of all good, the source of all blessing, we must make ourselves feel exactly like the one who is entitled to the blessing. The story also shows us that Jacob's mother, again, this is subconscious intuition. You see, you've got a wise mother in you. <laughs> you see? Yes, you have. You have within you the wisdom of the ages. Divine intelligence. Jacob's mother was Rebecca, and it is said that she favored the younger boy. And so while the older boy was out hunting the venison, she began to give him the secret. And she said, son, your brother's clothes are in my house. 
Now, what is that trying to tell you? That you have within you what you need to make yourself feel like you ought to feel to get the blessing that you want. So subconscious intuition said to him, put on your brother's clothes. Your brother's hairy. So take some kid skin and wrap around your arms so that you'll feel right to the Father. You'll feel like the one that's entitled to the blessing. I hope I can make you see this. The Father's blind. He does not judge. The Bible says the Lord does not see as a man sees. <laughs> so... Jacob dressed himself in his brother's clothing or in the feeling nature of the one who was entitled to the blessing. This is what you've got to do. You've got to dress yourself in the feeling nature of the one who deserves the blessing that you desire. That's why you have to get rid of all this undeservedness. That's why I told you last week, and some of you, if you didn't get rid of it yet, go back to that Lord's Prayer tape and go back to the tape and the lesson about forgiveness. And you forgive yourself until you feel like you are forgiven and you deserve all of God's goodness. He dressed himself in the feeling nature of the one who was entitled. You see, that's what you've got to feel. You must feel, I am entitled to the blessing. Let me hear you say it. Again, again, you have got a dress in that raiment. I'm entitled to it. I'm worthy. I'm the son who deserves it. And he went into the father. The father had a rather short conversation with him. Are you my very son Esau? And he said, I am. Wow, what a mystic secret. What does that mean? You see, this tells you that the Father, the source of all good, the source of all blessing, is continually asking you one question. Who are you? Who are you? And that's the time when it is said, let the weak say, I am strong. Because you're talking to the Father. And you see, the Father makes you whatever you say you are. The Father confirms you in the identity of whoever you say you are. Who are you? And the game the mystic writer is trying to show us, you see, the theologian said he lied. No, he didn't. That is not what he's trying to show you. He's trying to show you the power of I am. Whatever I say I am, I am that. I am. Are you my very son Esau? He could have said, no, no daddy. I, I'm just kidding. You have got to say verbally, visionally, emotionally, on the deepest feeling level, you have got to say that you are the one that you wish to be. Amen. You gotta say it. You gotta feel it. You gotta make yourself feel like that to the Father. Now this is the purpose. I want to be redundant about this because I want, I want you to use this. You see, we have to know what the end product, you know, it's just like this Lord's Prayer business. People misuse that for many years. It was just something to recite. No, it is not. There is an end result that you're seeking. And that end result is what? To make yourself feel right to the Father. To make yourself feel that you are the one who is entitled to the good that you desire. The father felt him and he said, I am. But I get excited when I, when I say that the father is always asking you, who are you? And it is true. Do you know every moment of time, the father is asking you who you are? And you can change just as fast as you can change your answer. Some of you reach a little high and catch that. <laughs> Be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. Just as fast as you can change your answer. Who are you? You see, this is self-identification. The Father gives us, the Father gives every man, every mind, 
the privilege of saying who he is. That's why you can't blame anybody else. That's why this is just us. <laughs> just as you say. So by means of visualization, which is a very strong and a very powerful power that you have, you can compel things to be right. You can compel things to be as you will. You can be as the song says, they all shall sweetly obey my will. Imagination, visualization is powerful because the feeling nature usually follows visualization. Affirmation usually induces the feeling. Visualization usually induces the feeling of whatever you visualize. The interesting thing I also find about this science is that, you know, people are using it whether they realize it or not. See, it works whether you work with it or not. Well, you do work with it. You can't help working with it. The difference is science on knowing it. <laughs> That's why Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. When you know this, then you are free to work with it in a different way. When you know this, then you are free to say who you are. And the Father will confirm you in that identity. The Father confirmed exoterically the wrong boy in the identity and gave the wrong boy the blessing. But he couldn't change it. What is that trying to show you? I think the theologians call that the immutability of God, meaning the changeless nature of God. What God did, God can't change. See, feeling gets the blessing, and that cannot be changed. Amen. What did I say? Feeling gets the blessing, that cannot be changed.